Hey guys, my name is Zabo, and today we're going to be checking out Secret Numbers Dusha um, album. I think that's how you pronounce it, Dusha. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to check this out. It's been a really long time since I did some Secret Number. I even saw that they did a Japanese release for, um, they did Japanese versions of their older songs and a song called Like It, Like It and Odyssey. Um, if you want me to check it out, I'll probably put that like reaction over on Patreon because... I think, if you don't know, Japanese reactions are really hard to do. It's already hard enough to do K-pop reactions. And, you know, everything is, you know, demonetized. You know, that's fine with me. Don't care. You know, if, if I make money off the videos, it's fine. But I don't, that's fine too. As long as my reaction can get out there. You know, that's all that. That's all I care about. The I care more for the video to get blocked. Because then that means you guys can't see it. But, Japanese reactions are so, like... It's literally, as soon as I put it up, it gets blocked. <laughs> it's just blocked immediately. There's It feels like there's no doubt. There's just, it's just immediate block. But with, at least with K-pop, it's just demonetized and then that's it. Sometimes we'll get into some blocked, like, parts of the video where I'm like, you know, it's, it's blocked. But I feel like it's a lot, it's, it's, it's extremely a lot less than it is with um, Japanese reactions, which is why you don't see me do... Um, Japanese reactions because they just get blocked, you know, and at, at that point it, it's up to either whether you guys will want me to just do them on the Patreon because I can do that. I can put like I can do a reaction of the Japanese albums and just throw them over on the Patreon. Um, but that's pretty much it. The only way to, you know, get my reaction to like Japanese, um, songs. So. Just want to put that out there that I do see it. Um, I will hold off from like, you know, listening to it if if you guys want me to you know do a reaction, put it over on the Patreon. Um, but if not, if you know people don't really care, you could just you know listen to it on your own. Then I'll just do that. So, but but um, without further ado, um, make sure you like the video, comment down below any of your um uh, of the songs of these two songs, which ones. Which one is your favorite, or if both are your favorite? Subscribe, hit the bell so you be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra content, check out the Patreon demo. It's 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 cool and funny that their first mini album is a Japanese album, and it's like I've been begging and been wanting a mini album from Secret Number, just like a mini, because I, I, I it's like I don't want, like I want a full album, yes, but it's just like it's been so long. Like this is their sixth single album. Can we just get them to have, like, do more songs and then have them take a break? Because I feel like they do, like, these single albums. They are gone for a few months and then we barely get to see them. I feel like we barely get to see them in, like, any sort of, like, content sort of thing, too. Like, it, it sucks because they have great vocals, have a, you know, ride, a wide range of members, like, ethnicities, like, Dita being um from India, right? Um, and then we have Jenny from America. Um, you know, just like that, just that enough is wide range for me. Like you know, um, they don't have no, yeah, they don't have no Japanese. Like they, it's just I, I just wish like um, they just utilized um just more of them because their vocals are great. I love their visuals. Love like just how cute and, and like how powerful they can all be, but um yeah, um enough ranting. Let's move on to the two songs, which is Dusha, which we'll check out twice, and the um other song is Beautiful One. So yeah, um here we go. Enough ranting. I just see the timer. I'm like four minutes of an intro. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, discovering this pause button and using it, I love it. Because it's just, like, I don't have to cut the whole video and then re -re -re like, record it. I could just pause, go do, you know, the thing, and then come back. <laughs> but here we go. Um, let's get into it. Whew, I'm excited. Oh. Beautiful monster, the castle of 
Oh yeah, Lee is the Japanese. You're like yeah, there we go. Lee is the Japanese movie. Yeah, I forget. I forget about that. She speaks Korean so well. But yeah, wide range. You see what I mean? Like you don't have to Oh my god. Oh, it's like the Okay, <laughs> bit of the spicy lyrics, but like the whole magnet with love. It's just like love. here but yeah they they are craving this poison love this like love that's just tainted but they're wanting more and more like look at this like this is how bad and tainted this love is and she's grabbing a chunk out of it and taking a bite fully from it because that's what they want and and I like how this lyric says it's time to stop taking it but they can't you know it's like it's like a drug this poison love is like a drug and i really like that like i really like the symbolism of how Love is and this cake needs to take it a bite out of it. this cake looks so mm. <laughs> I like I like the visual like I said strong visuals I just remember Lee is the Japanese member um just it just like they have such a cool and unique group identity because you don't see that in many groups like I feel like you see Korean English. Japanese or yeah Japanese like typical that's why I say it is like kind of typical sometimes you see full Korean um, you have like you know a lot of Korean and Japanese and Chinese yeah that's the other one Chinese Korean Japanese are like I would say the three main ones and like a bit of um, American um, but you but I feel like secret number has such a unique because they have American Japanese um, Indonesian right with Dita I think right um you know Korean so that's four right there you have you know you have the Korean in there but then you have three different like um I feel like not as common um other um cultures and like you see them share their culture with one another you see them learn each other's languages like it's just cool and I feel like um their company isn't using that um as well like because i'm like they should be they should be working on a mini album like like jenny's so good at rapping like i feel like she should have a song on her not on her own but maybe like a rap duo or something because i swear like when i was watching um what was it the documentary it wasn't it wasn't a documentary but it was something like it was like the secret number vlogs and she was doing her rap by herself that like rap i was like this is dope she is a cool rapper that i feel like i don't think about because i'm not seeing stuff get put out from them so i'm not really thinking about her until i do something with secret number i'm like oh yeah jenny is a great rapper female rapper too like i i i'm i'm, like, I'm happy that this song is dope i love the like choreo like this where they're doing this and like the poison love um concept but i just wish that they 
had more releases of music, like not just all these singles. Like how many more singles until we get like a mini or a full album? Like, and the, and the thing is, I don't know the situation. I don't know if what is happening. I don't know what the schedules are like. I don't know. So I could be complaining, but they could be on like a tight schedule or they could be doing all this other stuff that they don't have time and they're just trying to work to work, you know, so they're not like cut out from anything or, you know, worse disbanded. And then when they finally do have time to do music, they only have time to do one or two songs or three songs and promote it and stuff. So I don't really know. So, but yeah, let's continue. A little, a little rant. I'm sorry. Cause I just, I just love secret number. Oh my god. Oh my god, Okay, well, well, we'll save this a little bit for when we um, react to it again. But, yeah, I really like that. I really like the whole concept of Poison Love. Um, do, do sha. Hmm. I'm, like, trying to figure out what that means, but um, let me see. Let me go get one. Okay. Like, let me make sure the audio was playing. I swear I'll just record a video, not look over and be like, oh, the audio wasn't recorded. Oh, yeah, I, I wonder why. Do do sha. Does that mean? What does it mean? The word dusha is modeled on an ancient Greek word meaning opinion, reputation, what is said of things or people. The dusha comparison to set of uh, sometimes. Okay. Hmm. So to appear, to seem, to think. So are they saying maybe the this love seems to be going all right, but deep down it's as bad as poisonous. And like to them, it seems like the love isn't maybe, maybe it's like, maybe what that cake looks like to them is like, you know, very, you know, nice and fun. And like, you know, like one of them bright, like fun fondant cakes or something, I guess. But, but we're seeing like the reality of it. Like, um, you know, like we're seeing the, actual like cake the actual love like it's tainted it's terrible like literally they're grabbing a handful of cake with worm gummy worms i'm assuming <laughs> you know um and just stuffing themselves with it not realizing that it's poisonous because to them it looks um it looks fine it looks great like all of this probably looks so bright and so nice but we're seeing like the reality of it while well, they're not so okay maybe maybe that's what it is but Let's continue. Let's go on to it. Let's watch it fully. Man, my, my little rants do make like the videos long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I wanted to oh, I wanted to pause and read that. Okay. We invite we invite you. We hope you have a good time tonight. When I was going up the stairs, I met a woman who wasn't there. She wasn't there again today. I wish I wish she would go away. Can hear you what you're saying. Who am I speaking right now? <laughs> hmm. So they hmm. I wonder what this all means. I wonder what this means. Something to their storyline. No 
I like the choreo a lot for this song, like it's really dope. she tied up oh that was like <laughs> that was like a code like you know secret number I really like that like the D-O-X and like a triangle for A I really like that really like the song I really thought it was really um, cool just like the whole concept of like this kind of poison love basically like this toxic love that you're so addicted to that at that point, you start, like, even the lyrics say you start drinking it out of habit. I like guess, like, you you can't get out. Um, and in my theory is, like, they're, they're doing all of this. Well, I mean, I don't know. Because now I saw, I, I, the second time through, I noticed that Dita was baking the cake. And it just wasn't, like, there. So I don't know whether they're, you know being poisoned to like to this other person and they're both just in love with one another in this kind of toxic poison relationship or like she's learning how to be toxic and poisonous basically i don't know i i really don't know um but you guys can let me know please do let me know like what the whole meaning of the song is and what maybe um maybe i didn't see the maybe the um right meaning for dosha um or maybe they said it within like the korean like korean word of dosha and i'm like oh maybe maybe or maybe it just means poison in korean i don't know you guys can let me know but here we go with beautiful mind. the makeup on point though the eye makeup love it love the eye makeup i don't know Yeah. 
I'm gonna pause it here, but really like this song. Really like just the beauty of it. Love like the message of like kind of love is love is like this key um, to unlock. Basically, like you know, secret number. Love is this key to unlock um, your beautiful self. Like to be the most beautiful one. To be you know someone that is great and beautiful. And it is. It does take love. It takes a lot of love. It takes a lot of like warmth and like a lot of like letting others in and you know giving your love to them too like it, it really does um make you like a beautiful person when you love others and everything and i feel like i'm not there yet like i really i i i, I will say i do love hard but i feel like i don't love like everything or love this and that to be the most beautiful one but i feel like maybe the to the people that I do love, I feel like I am a beautiful one to them. And I feel like maybe that's what they're saying to maybe the fans, like that their love for Secret Number for each of the members uh, makes them the most beautiful one. And, um, you know, vice versa too for Secret Number to the fans that they're the most beautiful when they're loving the fans and, you know, doing things for the fans. That's what I'm taking from it. And that's what I'm just feeling from the song. Dita's part at the beginning started throwing me off a little bit because I was like, I was reminded of another song. I, I'll play it and maybe like, maybe it'll click, but it reminded me of another song. Um, the, just maybe her her tone, maybe just how that melody went. That it was so like, so similar that it reminded me of it, but we'll, we'll go back and see. So here we go. Let's continue. I love that she tapped into that part of the noise. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like a song to the fans. <laughs> Like I said, we're gonna. I know I never do this, but that that the Dita part really like threw me off because of how similar it sounded to um another song that I've listened to. I just want to listen to it. that song da na 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 da na oh, sounds like something that song it, it sounds like a song that I um I, I sung in choir during high school I can't remember what it is I can't think of it it, it sounds like something I don't know it, it sounds like a song that's sung in choir. I 
<laughs> that's that's how I'm thinking about it. It, it. it threw me off. But um, with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reactions to Dual Shot and Beautiful One. Really love um Beautiful One is if it really does feel like a fan song, like th thanking the fans and remembering like it like you can't see it, but it says the days of the moments we have been together, like going and looking back at those days of hanging out with um the fans and just. You know all those moments together, maybe fan sign, um, fan sign events, and just um, con like little like um, performances and stage performances and everything, and just how like you know the fans make them beautiful ones, and vice versa. Like Secret Mama makes the fans beautiful ones, and, you know this connection and that you know that they love each other a lot. So yeah, um, but that hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.